Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel. I'm Brianna Lentz and today we have a really fun and different video and it's a video that I'm excited about because I want to do more of this. What is it? Well, you've already seen because you've clicked on my video and you've seen my, my picture, but it's an upcycle for Halloween. I upcycled a thrifted shirt and the thrifted doily and I made a super cute ghost. This is not doing it justice. I'll insert some photos, but how cute is this? This is my first one and I can't wait to make more. Um, this is so easy, you guys, you can do this. If you wanna make custom clothes for less money, you can do it. If you like to thrift, you need to do this. This is so fun. You could, I, I mean, I've got so many ideas. I don't wanna stay in there because I don't want you to take them and I, I, I wanna do them and I wanna show you how to do them. But this was my first idea and I did it. So I thrifted this shirt and I loved it because it was orange with these horses and I thought it would be perfect for Halloween. And I have two of these, like, I call them doilies, but they weren't really doilies. Like, I don't know ex the, the exact term. Somebody let me know in the comments down below, but it's like what you, you know, one of those old things that you put on the table that I have all around my house, but it's not, it, is it a doily? I, I, it doesn't matter, but it had this really pretty design inside of it. You know, it's like, obviously like factory crochet, you know, and uh, you can't factor crochet. It's something. I don't know what it's called, but it's pretty and it's flowers and stuff like that. And so I made sure that I had the design going the right way. And so I sewed this on, I'm gonna show you in today's video and then I have buttons and it's a one of a kind because I just made it up as I went and I love it. I love it. Um, also, if you do like this, I have this listed in my Etsy shop right now as of September, 2024. So if you are interested in this, go to my Etsy shop. I'll have that link down below. And if you're interested in purchasing this could be yours. Go check it out. I will be listing more clothes like this in the future and this month because I love it. Love it. Love it. So if you would be interested in watching the process of how I took this plain shirt, this doily that somebody was going to throw away probably at the Goodwill bins and it's a couple buttons and make it a whole new thing for Halloween, then this is the video for you because this is really so simple. Anybody can do this with basic sewing skills and a love to thrift. So let's go ahead and get started into today's video. All right, so here is my shirt. And here are the materials that I'm gonna be using. I have this thrifted. I don't even know what you call this. It's like a doily, but it's not a doily. Like you would use this as like a table. I don't know what you call it. It's vintage anyway. I got it at a thrift store. You know, you put it on your table. It's like a doily, but it's not. It's just like a, it's one of these. Anyway, I have two of them. And when you thrift a lot and you have ideas for things, you kind of accumulate a stash. And so I have a really nice condition one. And then I have one with a couple like different marks and stuff on it. So I'm gonna keep the nice one because I have another project for the really nice one. And then this one's gonna lend itself really well to my spooky to my spooky project. So I was able to get this and I loved it. It's just this really cute tunic and it's orange and white with white horses. It really reminds me of like the 2010s, you know, like the early 2010s when us girls would be wearing this kind of a thing with like a yellow purse and ballet slippers, which I think that's coming back. It's been long enough apparently. And um, anyway, so I think it'd be really cute because it is this color scheme to cut this out in the shape of a ghost because it's big enough but have it going the right way and it's playful because it's floral and so I'm going to cut this out in the shape of a ghost and then I'm going to sew it on and then I'm going to pick two vintage buttons from here and put two eyes on it and I think it's going to be really adorable and I have like a collection of doilies and stuff in here but I'm not going to be using doilies for this project I'm going to go ahead and um, do this kind of cute country whimsy kind of vibe. I think I'm gonna be uh, using my water soluble pen. I need to buy a new set of uh, heat friction pens, which those are the pens that I could like, I could draw a ghost on and then when I use my iron, the heat will erase the ink. Um, but I, I, need to, I need a new pack. So I'm gonna use this water soluble pen, which is a wash away marker. And I use this a lot for embroidery and I really like it. So that's what I'm going to do. And this is going to make this a one of a kind piece. I can't, it's, it's gonna be rad. So let's go. All 
Okay, the first ghost that I drew seemed really small. So I went back and I drew a bigger one. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that. Now I'm gonna cut it out and just kinda go for it. So that's cut out. I'm gonna get the water cycle off there. But now that we have this, let's just go ahead and pick out some eyeballs. Oh, that's a good one. Oh, that's cool. I like that. <laughs> that looks kind of funny. Let's see. That's cute. All right, so now that my image, I have my image, right? I'm going to sew these on after I have this sewn to the t-shirt. So I'm gonna go turn on my iron, iron out my shirt, and then we will get this sewn onto the back panel and then I'll attach the these last. Now I will just pin where this goes onto the back. using some super simple pins. Now I'm gonna take this to my machine and I'm just going to sew around like this with a regular straight stitch all the way around. Okay, so I am pleased with how that turned out. I am not gonna lie. I'm very happy with this. That turned out great. I'm gonna move my pins out gently. Pin our threads. Oh, that looks nice. Okay. Now we need to sew on our eyes. Okay, so next we're gonna sew on our eyes. Just sewing on eyes, that'll work good enough for me. I have the worst allergies right now. Look at that marker go. have to do it like that. 
Yeah, I like that. Here. Here. Well, those came out really cute. They're secured really good. Here's the back side, so you can't see it. Now I'm gonna take a Q-tip and I'm gonna get all the my water soluble ink off. I hope you guys enjoyed that as much as I did. If you are looking to get a little crafty, a little bit different, a little bit of flair, this is the tutorial that you guys should follow. You can do this. You don't even need technically a sewing machine. You can stitch that by hand onto your shirt. So if you don't have a sewing machine, you're like, dude, that looks so cool. Just stitch it by hand. It really is not that much surface area to have stitched all the way around. And you can let your creativity shine. You know, you can make cool clothes for less money and be completely unique to yourself. Um, yeah, so if you want to see more videos like this, let me know in the comment section down below because I'm game. I'm game if you are. All right, thanks so much for watching, you guys, and so much for your support to my channel. I'll see you guys in my next project and in my next video. Make sure you subscribe, though, so that way you don't miss it when I, when I release my next one. That would be such a shame if you missed it because you didn't subscribe. It'd be such a shame that somebody didn't see this video because you didn't like it. You should like today's video so that way it helps my video spread across the YouTube algorithm and you should subscribe and hit that notification bell so you know exactly when my next video populates. All right? All right. Thanks. See you in my next project. Bye.